Hey guys, good morning or good afternoon, depending on where you're located. This is Dr. Billy Williams. I absolutely appreciate you guys being here today. We're going to get started with our mobile and tech boot camp for insurance agents. This is extremely important training, so please make sure that you, you've limited your distractions. You've limited all the things around you that are going to pull you away, and you're only going to hear 20% of what we have to say. Because uh, this is this is too important. The whole training is just too important for you not to uh, not to give it your 100% attention. Today we're going to focus on local SEO. Session two will focus on things like text messaging, mobile apps, things like that. I'll bring on other speakers. But today I really want to focus on local SEO. SEO is an ever-changing practice. And it's a constant moving target, meaning Google constantly changes things and some of the other search engines constantly change things. So we have to be on top of that. Local SEO is the cornerstone for marketing today's insurance agents. Let me say that again. Local SEO is the cornerstone for marketing today's insurance agents. I know you think, well, all I have to do is go out and telemarket, or I can buy internet leads, or I can buy warm transfers, or I can I can spend money and buy all these X days. And okay, that's all good. Don't get me wrong. But for every one of those, you have to spend money. You have to put time and energy and all these other things. Wouldn't it be nice if people found you on the internet? Wouldn't it be nice if people search locally and wanted an insurance agent, a local insurance agent? And they wanted to talk to you, or even if they didn't want to talk to you, they wanted access to the information, to the technology, to all the different things that you have that make their life easier when it comes to shopping for insurance. Understand something, guys. We live in a digital world. Almost every industry has been disrupted, from the travel industry to the hotel industry to the car industry, you name it. So we're not immune to the disruption. We just are in a better position to manage it. I guess that's the best way to put it. Because people want three things. They want information, they want advice, and they want wisdom. Information is cheap, and that's the problem. That's why car insurance right now is, is just the most competitive thing in the world. Because really, people feel like the only thing they're getting is information, car deductible, uh, what what's liability, what is med payment, stuff like that. You're not telling me anything new. You're just giving me information, and then you're charging more for your information than the guy down the street is charging for their information or the gal down the street is charging for their information. So because of that, we should make information readily available to them. That's why we do videos. That's why we have questions and answer pages. That's why we have all these different things that should make information easy. Videos, YouTube videos should make information easily accessible to the consumer because they don't want to pay a bunch of money for information. They don't mind paying for advice, which is how you advise them to use the information, and they don't mind paying for wisdom, which is how have you helped other people that have been in this unique situation. But they don't want to pay a lot of money for advice. I mean, excuse me, for information. And that's why we have to make information friendly and accessible. And that's why mobile and tech have to be friendly and accessible. If you're one of those agents, the only way people can get information from you is if they talk to you on the phone for 30 minutes, you're going to have a very difficult time growing or even existing in today's marketplace because that's not what people want. They want to be able to log onto your site download information, have a question and answers page where they can see all the different things that you're explaining anyway, which are pretty similar to what everyone else is explaining. They want to see videos. They, they want an Amazon-type feel and experience to shopping for insurance, especially car insurance. Now, the more involved the insurance is, the deeper you can go. The homeowner's insurance, business insurance, Medicare supplements, things like that, which are a lot, a lot more detailed, yes, you can still withhold information a little bit and charge a little bit more for information. But if you're in the auto home insurance market, you can pretty much forget it. Okay, You've got to be mobile, and you've got to make sure the technology is doing a lot of the talking for you. Okay. So on session one of this boot camp, we're going to cover A to Z for local SEO. When I say A to Z, I'm going to show you things that you're like, I didn't even know that existed. Well, usually you paid someone else to do it. And if they don't know it exists and you're paying them, then you're both screwed. So we're going to show you things that you should know. 
let me stress this. If you don't have the technical skills to do it yourself, pay a company or an outside person that specializes in SEO. A lot of times agencies are not growing. They're not getting new members They're not or new clients, new customers, simply because the agent's like, I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to do it myself. And then the agent either, either doesn't make time to do it or the agent just doesn't know what they're doing. Okay, they don't have the technical skills and they want to sit up and take six months to figure out something that could take five minutes if someone actually knew what they were doing. Don't do that. If you don't have the technical skills to do it yourself, pay a company or an outside person that specializes in SEO. And if you're the primary agent, you need to have one of your staff members also attend the web boot camp. If you're the only person agent that hears this information, the likelihood that it will be effectively implemented in the agency drops 80%. I'm not making this number up. I've done this. We're going on 14 years now of mentoring insurance agents. We're, we're the, probably the top insurance agent mentoring company in the United States. So I've, I've worked with thousands of agents. And trust me, good information goes to the primary agent to die. Okay? I'm not trying to be negative. It's just the truth. You have to have a staff member, team member, somebody else that actually hears this in order for it to be implemented in the agency. Let me start with my disclaimer, then we're going to have our polls, and then we're going to go right into our training. 